Hi, I'm John McAuliffe, Chief Marketing Officer of VFM Leonardo, and welcome to VTV. VTV has been produced for hotel e-commerce, marketing, and sales professionals to provide insights, knowledge, and learnings from industry experts on how to extract more value from a hotel's presence on the internet. Each week, I will interview an industry expert on a single topic. We have discovered many of these topics from industry people like yourself and encourage you to let us know if there is a, a topic you would like us to cover on future episodes of VTV. You can email us at vtv at vfmleonardo.com and make your suggestion anytime. Welcome to today's episode. Our topic today is Search Goes Visual, and I am joined by David Atardi. David is the Director of E-Commerce at BF Sol & Company. He manages all e-commerce activities for BF Sol's 18 hotel properties. David, thank you for joining us and welcome to VTV. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Um, today's topic, Search Goes Visual, uh, we've all seen a number of statistics indicating the increased demand for visual and in particular video content online. Uh, we've also seen how Google is now incorporating video into their general search results. And of course, Microsoft has launched Bing, which uses visual results in search. In your opinion, why is visual content becoming increasingly important to a hotel's search in, a success in search? Um, frankly, John, I think it's because that's what people want to see. Um, I, you know, I, I think search and I think what these search engines and search companies are bringing uh, providing to the user is based on behavior and um, you know just since 2005 since YouTube was created the uh, huge surge of video content on the web and not only that but video viewing from users um, I think Google and, and now Bing and Yahoo are just responding to what people want to see and and uh, when you talk about what people want to see what is it about video that um, uh, that people are are gravitating towards? Sure, I, you know, I, I think it's it's um, it's it's just richer media. I think you know we kind of live in a in a video uh, in a video world now. Whether it be people pre creating homemade videos and sending them around via uh, via links to YouTube and kind of establishing a little cult following or um, or whatever, but I I think video as a way for hoteliers to tell our own story um, is, is something that I think has been a long time coming is going to be around for a while. I know that, you know, it's, it's a delicate balance of engaging, engaging a viewer uh, that's on your website or on a website, watching a video of your, of your property, um, engaging them in a way that they stay on and, 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 and watch the whole thing. So you're kind of balancing video with, with keep, with, people trying to watch it. And I know, you know, sometimes you'll see these videos online. I, I saw a hotel video on a website the other day. I think it was like six minutes long. And I, I got through about a 45 to 60 seconds of it. But, you know, if you can tell a story, if you can craft a video and tell your story about your hotel in a way using that's using high definition video and really rich media, highlighting your property through some of the still photography that you have and, um, and giving you're giving it a really eloquent and slick look and feel. Um, I think that's by far the the best way to communicate your story and highlight your property to the guest. And uh, you know, a lot of times, people there'll, there'll be photos out there, and people can navigate through photo albums or whatever. But if you're looking through a video um, that has voiceover narration, perhaps you can you can tell them you, the story that you want as you want it told. And I think that's something that. You know, people just really respond to you look at the the amount of uh, user generated video uploaded on things like Facebook and YouTube people get video uh, people are used to video and I think you know it, hoteliers need to embrace it as as a way to promote their hotels it sounds like there's a there's a couple of things that uh, you pointed out there the first is is the ability to inspire people through mm. video and and uh, visual messages uh, but you also touched upon uh, the fact that it brings a level of stickiness to your site, right. um, which I, I find interesting. And also, um, uh, in addition to that, the ability to control the experience that you actually provide to people. Can you elaborate on a couple of those? Sure. Um, 
you know, we have, I'll just speak from our own experience with, with, with our company. As you mentioned, we have 18 hotels and uh, about, about a year and a half ago, um, we committed to sort of launch video across our portfolio and we wanted to transition um, from traditional virtual tours, things like that, and into a much richer, more robust experience from a user perspective. And we, we launched video across all 18 hotels. Now, these hotels range from 90 room extended stay town place suites up to, you know, 400 room full service crown plazas and, and, and a holiday ends. Um, and all of those have a very different, different story to tell. Um, you know, the, 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 the big box full service hotels, their stories about meeting space and, and, and catering capabilities and in, and in, uh, on property outlets and their relationships with, um, corporate clients and their markets. Um, where the extended stay story is much more about focusing on uh, relocation and, and um, being a, a great hotel solution for long term. Um, and but regardless of the video, you know we can't. I can't really communicate that. We have the we have the media, we have the photos to to back it up. But you know we can't talk about those things over video, over top of music, like you know like the way we can. In, um, in a, in a video, the photo, still photos just won't get that done for us. So, you know, it really allows us to, to engage the user and, and talk specifically about the value proposition of that particular hotel. And, and then it's just about getting those videos online in places where people will find them. But I think even arguably more importantly, where people uh, are ready to find them. You know, and I think that that's a couple of that's several different places, um, including having them accessible from their natural homes of, of our uh, hotel websites, but also in distribution across content networks, whether it be third party Internet sites or OTAs um, such as Travelocity and Expedia, um, but all the way through YouTube, having these accessible and tagged on YouTube so that people can find them. Um, and as and as you mentioned, I mean, video is getting is populating a lot of search returns nowadays. So people are finding our videos directly from Google searches, um, and you know, having them framed in the in the right way prepares, so, so to speak, a user to see the video. And and if they're prepared for it, they're much longer to they're much more willing to uh, to watch the whole thing and stay on the site and just adds to the stickiness of it. Right. So. Um... Uh, you were talking about uh, one of the first things that, that really helped uh, establish your video strategy, if you will, uh, which is obviously impacting on, on, on your search strategy, uh, is knowing and understanding that each one of your hotels had a different story yeah. and being able to communicate that story uh, through, through video. Uh, if I were a hotelier, what, what would be the, the top you know, couple tips that you would provide to me that I could do, I could use to to produce my video story and get that video story out uh, into the internet, either through search or non-search uh, uh, vehicles. Uh, a couple things. One would be just through our own experience or my own experience in, in creating the videos. Uh, I would tell other hoteliers that are interested in in putting together hotel videos to make them. To, to be a little more farsighted about it. Um, and and I, I learned this through through mistakes, um, through trial and error. But, you know, we would produce, we produced video that was all high definition video and it was all shot on, on a hotel in one day. And basically that allowed us to tell very, very well the story of that hotel, but only on that day. You know, a week later, if we had a complete room renovation and we upgraded from old tube TVs to flat panel TVs, now that video is almost obsolete. So we try to we we learned that it was very important for us to mix in video because you know seeing live video and, and people talking on camera or people walking and moving on camera is important. But pick our spots when we do that. Things that aren't necessarily going to change, and then supplement that with um, with kind of panning over high resolution still photography, whether it be kind of zooming in and out or panning across or whatever. That way, when you do have renovations or you have new signage or whatever, you pop out that still photo, you pop the new one in that has your new uh, decor or your new look and that video is still good to go and it doesn't, you know, and then it's just a matter of redoing 
any appropriate or any necessary uh, voiceover narration, which is probably the simplest part. So making them a little more modular, um, I think, is is something that I would recommend to hoteliers creating video. Um, and then in terms of getting them out there so that people are finding them and are finding them in a context where they want to hear your story, I would make sure that, A, I would kind of cover the, you know, the, the blocking and tackling of making sure they're in all of the natural places, such as on your ho- websites, your hotel websites that you control 100%. Um, and then getting them in the hands of your of your team members out on the property and having them take ownership and posting those videos on their personal Facebook accounts or posting those videos um, on um, on on YouTube and and kind of having them circulate virally um, so that you're not only selling your hotel as a marketer but you're engaging your team members out in the field every line team members management all the way up through any corporate office that you have. And you're, you're engaging them in a way that they can be uh, your marketing, your kind of field marketing staff. Um, and then, you know, uh, that's one thing that actually I, I really value in our relationship with, with VFM is because in a lot of ways, VFM allows us to get our video in the places where it matters most, um, such as, you know, uh, the uh, online uh, or the uh, online travel agencies, the OTAs, Travelocity, Expedia, things like that, because they're on booking sites. I mean, they're at the point of purchase. Our users are at the point of purchase. And if there's a video there to help tell our story, that's fantastic. And, I, you know, I can't reach the breadth of of um, ch- of channels and um, third party sites that I can with the with uh, the VFM network. So having something having some mechanism in place where it just reaches a lot of uh, people that are ready to book. And and those OTAs are a great example. Great. Thank you, David. It it sounds like you're doing a great job of of, uh, using your video content to actually not only inspire travel shoppers, but as you said, also inspire the people that that work for BF Sol and Company and are the ones that are greeting guests uh, at at the hotels. Right. Well, we're, we're trying. Thank you very much for joining us today. My pleasure. Uh, we appreciate Thank you, you uh, uh, joining us on VTV. Uh, to all the viewers that are out there, be sure to visit us at vtv.vfmleonardo.com and post your comments. Tune in next week for more from another industry expert.